Shalom family, welcome to today. As we continue our conversation about Hanukkah, I want to bring your attention to John 10, 22 today. It says, now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem and it was winter. The feast of dedication is translated to Hanukkah. So this passage places Jesus Christ at the temple at this time of year during Hanukkah. And because it's mostly Jews who celebrate Hanukkah, it might be surprising to learn that the only place Hanukkah is mentioned in the entire Bible is in this verse, John 10, 22, in the New Testament. Hanukkah is not mentioned anywhere in the Hebrew Bible. I summarized the Hanukkah story yesterday, but you can read all the historical events surrounding it in 1st and 2nd Maccabees. Although some Bibles, like the Catholic Bible, actually include these books in their Bible, it's important to remember that 1st and 2nd Maccabees are books of the Apocrypha. And they are extra biblical, historical writings that are not regarded as equal to the Holy Scriptures, but they are still profitable and good to read. So I'm going to post a link to 1st and 2nd Maccabees in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and read those. It's not light reading, but um, like I said, it is worth the read. But back to today's verse, we are looking at John 10, 22, because somewhere between the Feast of Tabernacles and Jesus being placed back at the temple during the Feast of Dedication in this verse, Jesus heals a man who had been born blind. He does so by spitting on the dirt to make mud and then putting the mud on the man's eyes. Biblical scholars who know much more about the Bible than I do believe that this miracle happened during the week of Hanukkah. I, when I read it, I don't see any definitive evidence that it did happen on Hanukkah, but I don't see any definitive evidence that it didn't happen on Hanukkah. Um, and I think that the significance of this particular miracle happening during, during Hanukkah makes it very probable that it did happen then. So let's explore this miracle and its significance to Hanukkah. There are two kinds of blindness. We have physical blindness and uh, spiritual blindness. Jesus came and healed both. We, like the blind man, have been born into darkness. We may not have been born into physical darkness, but we have certainly been born into spiritual blindness because this world is a fallen place and we are born into fallen flesh. So after Jesus put the mud on the man's eyes, he sends them, him to the pool of Siloam to wash it off. It's after he follows Yeshua's instructions and comes out of the water that he is healed. He can see for the first time in his life. And this reminds me of baptism. Yeshua calls our faith into action. He instructs us to be baptized and to follow him. It's through our obedience to the word that God's power will manifest through us. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, baptizes us with the Holy Spirit and fire, bringing us out of the darkness so that as his disciples, we can be a light unto the world. John 9.32 says, Never since the world began has anyone been able to open the eyes of someone born blind. 
Many prophets had performed many incredible miracles, but none had ever made a blind man see. It was a messianic miracle made by Isaiah, fulfilled by Yeshua, proving Yeshua was in fact who he claimed to be. I personally believe this miracle did happen during Hanukkah, and it's why the Bible specifically makes mention to the holiday in this text and nowhere else. Therefore, as believers in Yeshua, we should remember this miracle during our Hanukkah celebrations. We'll continue our Hanukkah chat tomorrow, but today I pray your day is blessed and full of light. I love you all. Shalom.